Good morning, America. Steve Eisen here. It's a great day here in South Carolina. It's March 16th, Friday, and this is candidate filing day here in South Carolina. And this morning we have our nonpartisan group, the Casey Coffee meeting again. And we have Christine Cobbs, who's running for school board, District 1 uh, in Lexington. Christine, it's great to have you with us. And um, anyway, so to get a chance, uh, drop by and see us here at the Casey Mafia any Friday morning at 7 o'clock. And uh, we have filing uh, starting here on the 16th and ending on uh, noon uh, on the 30th. So uh, those candidates out there, uh, go to scglb.com forward slash filing to look at the procedure. Until next week, Steve Eisen signing off. Christine Cox running for school board in Lexington, Lexington County. And Christine was here once before. This is her first formal presentation. So, Christine, everything's good. Everyone, everyone likes you here. Okay. <laughs> Let's give her a hand. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. My name is Christine Cox. I'm running for school board in Lexington 1 School District. A uh, short history on me I graduated from College of Charleston with a degree in philosophy and from Johnson & Wales University with a degree in food and beverage management. I'm a veteran of the U.S. Army and I served in Desert Storm overseas. In 2003, I served on the board of directors for the uh, League of Women Voters of South Carolina. In 2007 and 2008, I was co-leader of the Holistic Moms Network um, business chapter. And within that, I started their preschool co-op, which still functions today. I volunteered as a teacher's aide at Pilgrim Community Preschool for the two years that my children attended there. And in 2003, when my family and I decided to build a house in, in the Columbia area, we chose Lexington because of its beauty and charm, which I love, and because Lexington One is, I, I believe, the best school district uh, in the state. Now, as far as why I'm running, I don't have a particular personal agenda besides I believe that the uh, making the district, I like to make the district the best it can be, and continue to improve. Uh, and the basics, the area of the basics, um, the academics, and so on. I intend to live here the rest of my life, and I believe the role of community is to be involved in its future, which is the schools. I'd like to see the schools accomplish the following. Pay down the debt. This is something that Phil was just talking about, our debt. Um, we're currently $353 million in debt in Lexington One School District. That's $2,916 per citizen. Each individual citizen, I'm talking about everyone who has kids in school, who doesn't have kids in school, um, elderly, children, everyone. I like to see administrative salaries capped and cut, actually. Um, I'd like to see us stop hiring Chinese-owned companies to do our construction. Uh, it's not the role of government to create jobs, but it is the role of government to support Americans and our community. I'd like to see us, as a school district, get back to the basics. Um, the Centers for Advanced Studies are a wonderful idea. There, the, the idea of <clears throat> giving kids an edge and going into college or into the workforce is a great idea. But from what I understand, half the school day will be taken out by this. Children do their core subjects in the morning, and after lunch, they can go to the Centers for Advanced Studies on campus or be bused at taxpayer expense to the Center for Advanced Studies of their choice. Um, then they are transported back to the original school to be their bust or driven home or whatever they did. Um, that ties in with our graduation rate. This reduction of time in the core subjects, I believe, will hurt the graduation rate in a way that time is not spent, enough time is not spent on it. I'd like to see a 90% graduation rate through children's incentives that are not taxpayer funded uh, in a specialized way, but more broadly, there's Civil Air Patrol, like Phil was talking about, 
apprenticeship programs is, I think, are wonderful reasons for kids to, kids to stay in school and a viable way to prepare them for life after high school. I believe my presence on the school board will bring a, a different viewpoint and a new voice to speak out for maintaining high standards in the face of budget problems. So if anyone is interested in volunteering to help with the campaign, I'm accepting volunteers. And um, donations are most humbly accepted as well. Thank you very much. I, I just have one. Yes, Recently I read, and I, I cannot remember the legislator's <laughs> name, that suggested that we tie driver's licenses oh, to... Oh, awful. I'm sorry? That was awful. Awful. I was wondering how you felt about that. <laughs> Getting your driver, keep, you know, you could get a driver's license provided that you stay in school, but if you dropped out of school or you left school, driver's oh, license would no. be required. Yeah, I'm not sure about that because there are so many different reasons, personal, individual reasons, why a person, why a child would not finish high school. Um, there could be problems in the home. There could be problems with an individual. Um, they could be homeschooled. What about homeschooled children? I mean, well, they, 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 they have to prove that they're in a, an educational environment. But I just wondered, I, when I read it, I was I was kind of taken back that anybody would come up with a plan. I was just interested in where you stood on I'm not sure about that because I think that that's some governmental control over individual choice. Yeah, yeah, so that's why I wouldn't necessarily support that without further research. Okay. Okay. Got a question. You got a question. When I was on the school board, I tried to get them to, I guess, to consolidate the five districts into three, I think mm -hmm. anywhere. I also got them to build the same building twice, okay? Save $600,000 of construction, okay? When I look at it from the standpoint, <coughs> I try to get into the state that we need two types of buildings, one for level, one of the high ground. Same thing. We're paying architects to, you know, anywhere from six to ten percent fees to design a building which does the same thing as the previous building did. Okay? So we gotta look at it from the standpoint it's an educational business. Look at the fees. The building doesn't educate the child, the teachers. And like I've said so many times, seventy two percent of our property tax goes to school. Only forty two percent get to the classroom. That's gotta change. I will support any uh, improvement in spending um, that I can. And I, I agree that the fancy buildings don't do anything. I was speaking to Deborah about um, the, the fancy schools and such, and we agreed that if you want landscaping, uh, for instance, have the kids uh, have a horticulture club, have the kids do it, I mean, as for, for credit. You don't pay a landscaping company. That's what we used to do. Have the kids do it. Ooh, uh, one more question. Anyone else have a question? Okay. Thanks, Christine. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.